So I think practical is the key word there, right? And I think if you're a scientist, practical means within your own lifetime. And uh, right now, at the speeds that the spacecraft we currently send around the solar system, things like the, the Mars landers and, and the missions we send to, uh, to Saturn and so on, if we were to go at those speeds, it would take us tens or hundreds of thousands of years to make it to even our closest neighboring uh, nearby solar systems, right? Uh, so we're talking light years here. The, the nearest neighboring solar system to us is a little over four light years away. So to do that within a human lifetime, we're talking about um, a significant fraction of the speed of light. We'd have to actually get up to a few percent of the speed of light to even uh, get there with it within a human lifespan. So this is dramatically faster than we've ever gone before. So the rocket equation is this equation that determines how fast you can make a rocket go given a certain amount of fuel. Or the other way around, it's how much fuel you would need to make a rocket go a certain speed. And it scales exponentially uh, in the amount of fuel you need to go, uh, to go a little bit faster. So if you want to just go a little faster, uh, you need a lot more fuel is the basic idea. And the reason for that, there's a sort of domino effect where um, if you want a little more gas to go a little bit faster up here on the rock, at the end of the the flight of, or the, the firing of this rocket. You need a little more gas here. Well, that means you needed a little more gas here to lift that extra gas and a, and a, a whole lot more gas at the beginning to lift that extra gas, right? So, um, so it, it means that basically to go, uh, to go significantly faster than we do today with conventional rockets just really isn't possible. You need a, um, you know, just absurdly large rockets, and you need a, you know, more gas than is practical to even eke out a tiny bit more velocity. Um, so we really need to figure out a way around this rocket equation problem. And I think the, the real answer is you just don't want to carry your own fuel with you. You don't want to have to carry the gas.